In this section, we'll discuss theoretical approach to probability. You have learned that experimental approach to probability is based on actual experiments and adequate recordings of the happening of events. Now we will learn about the theoretical approach. Basic difference between these two approaches to probability is that in the experimental approach, probability of an event is based on what has actually happened. While in theoretical approach, we try to predict what will happen without actually performing the experiments. It has been observed that the experimental probability of an event approaches to its theoretical probability if the number of trials of an experiment is very large. Now, why do we need to actually learn theoretical probability and not just experimental probability if you ask me? Because in a lot of cases, conducting large number of experiments where we get a probability which is closer and closer to its theoretical probability, it's, it's not feasible or it's too expensive. Like if it's just about tossing a coin or throwing a die, we can still repeat this large number of times to get a better value. But in uh, scenarios like to find the probability of failure of a satellite launch. We can't do that by launching a satellite using rockets. Or for that matter, we cannot find, a, because that's not a feasible option. Same way, to find the probability of whether the uh, multi-story building will withstand an earthquake, we can't perform an experiment and uh, try finding out that probability. In that case, it becomes very important that we make certain assumptions and based on those assumptions, if we can find the theoretical probability, that will be very useful, in, especially in a lot of applications where we cannot perform the experiment. So we are going to discuss theoretical approach to probability in detail in this particular section.